Major events such as concerts or sports matches involve risks. When too many people are in a space which is too small or badly adapted, panic can set in, often with fatal consequences, as happened at the Love Parade in Germany in 2010. In Dusseldorf, hundreds of people are patiently walking through what looks like an obstacle course. What looks like a flash mob is in fact a science experiment. The Pasigo project aims to improve security at mass events. For cars, there are traffic rules, there are crossings and tracks and even traffic lights. So some form of regulation. This isn't the case for pedestrians. We've learned that, actually, we can also influence those rules for pedestrian crossings. The question is, how wide must a structure be to allow a certain number of people to pass through? These figures have hardly been explored, especially in complex traffic intersection, but we've identified these figures in the experiment. On every run, the 1,400 participants wore their hats. Each had a unique computer-readable symbol on top, so each person's path could be identified. I've been to several festivals and concerts, so I already know the feeling of being in a large crowd. It was interesting to experience it here under controlled conditions. We knew that nothing could happen here, but it was impressive to see so many people aligned in a small space. The German government's backing the project, which will lead to a computer-based planning tool for major events.